black and silver and white smoky eye. I haven't done anything like this yet on my channel and I thought it would be something different. I was away for about four or five days in Atlanta and I'm back now and this is my first day back home and I'm super excited to do a tutorial. I just wanted to come in here and do something different and it feels so good to be back in my filming space and making videos for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this look. If you want to know how to get it, please keep watching and I will show you how. Alright guys, so the first thing I did was I primed the skin with my Becca Backlit Priming Filter and I love this primer so much because it is so dewy and so luminous. I use this all the time in almost every tutorial but also every day. Next I'm gonna apply my foundation and I'm using Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup in Classic Ivory. Next I'm gonna be concealing under the eyes and I'm using L'Oreal True Match and this is in the shade Fair Light because I am super pale right now. I love this concealer. It is a great drugstore concealer and this has a really great coverage for it being a drugstore concealer. Next I set my under eyes with L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder and I used the shade Porcelain. Next, I set the rest of my face with L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 Hour Powder, and I love this powder so, so much for setting the entire face. Next, I went in and warmed up my skin with Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, and I love this for pale skin. This is just a really light bronzer, and it gives just enough warmth to just make you look not so flat, but give you some more warmth to your face and more dimension, and this is definitely one of my favorite bronzers, especially for my skin tone. Next, I went in with my Hoola Benefit Bronzer, and I used this as a contour. I also went in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light brush and I just wanted to add a more sharp contour right underneath where I put the Too Faced bronzer. Next I went in and used NARS Super Orgasm Blush. This has some gold flecks in it. This is an absolutely beautiful blush if you are on the more fair complected side. Next I went in with the Anastasia Glow Kit and I used the shade Crushed Pearl. This is an absolutely beautiful highlighting palette. I'm so happy I purchased it. I was really drawn to this one because it's just the colors in it are absolutely so unique. There's a pink, there's a more pearl color, mimosa, hard candy. They're just super beautiful highlighters and I absolutely love Crushed Pearl. Next, I'm gonna be filling in my brows with L'Oreal Brow Stylist Prep and Shape Brow Kit. I just bought this this weekend and I absolutely love it. This is in medium to dark. There's something about the texture of the powder that's just really interesting and really amazing. It's also super long wearing. It kind of has a gel-like powder formula. I don't know if that makes sense, but if you try it, let me know if I'm right about that or not, but it just, it kind of feels super slick and smooth. I absolutely love it because it is very long wearing and after that I like to set the brows with L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper and this is also in medium to dark. Next I went in and primed my eyelids with my Kat Von D High Voltage Primer and then I jumped right into the Urban Decay Vice LTD Reloaded Palette. I went in with the shade Suspend. This is just a really cool toned grayish brown. This is really nice for the look that we're going for. You really want to incorporate a gray color first before applying the black. So I just went in with a MAC 224 and I did this in windshield wiper motions. Then I went back in and did circular motions. This is just gonna blend everything out super well and make it look very blown out. Next, I went in with the shade Oil Slick and this is just a black with some glitter flecks in it. And I think this is a really nice black because it is not super intense so you could definitely build this up. It's just a really, really soft black, so I just decided to pack that onto the outer corner of my eye, and I continued to do so until I thought it was pigmented enough, so just keep on going until you think it's dark enough for your liking. Next, I went into the inner tear duct with the shade Road Stripe, which I thought was just a white but it actually is almost like a baby blue, which I was just really surprised by because in the pan, it looks white. So when I put it on, it was very iridescent. I do think it's really pretty, but for this look, I was more so going for a white. So I went back in with MAC Nylon and it's just a shimmery beige color and that made it look more white, which I ended up really liking. But I do think Road Stripe is a really pretty color if you're looking for a more iridescent baby blue. It's absolutely gorgeous. After that, I went over the white with L'Oreal Infallible Silver Sky Eyeshadow. This is just a really pretty silver color. You can use any silver that you have, but the Infallible shadows are just so amazing and they're so affordable. I'm just really surprised by them because you wouldn't think that this drugstore eyeshadow would be so, so amazing, but it really is. And I absolutely love this shade Silver Sky. I decided to tight line my eyes with Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner. This is in Perfect Black. This is just a really nice eyeliner because it is super black and I just wanted to make this a little more smoky so I tight lined my entire eyes. 
After that, I went and highlighted the brow bone with MAC Shroom. This is just a really pretty white beige color, and I think this is really nice for this eye look. You always want to do a really pretty and shimmery white brow bone highlight if you're doing a black and silver smoky eye. It just pulls everything together, in my opinion, and I just really like how it came out. Next, I'm just going to apply some mascara, and then I'm going to go in with my Icon Lashes. These are in the style Drunken Love. They're just a really pretty flared out lash, and I absolutely love them so, so much. You guys should definitely check these out. I think the packaging is beautiful, and I absolutely love the style. Drunken Love is probably one of my favorite styles from Icon, so definitely check them out. They're an awesome lash brand. Next, I lined my lips with my YSL lip liner, and this is in the shade 13. If you have the Jordana lip liner in Rock and Rose, or if you have Max Spice, this is also very similar to that, so you don't have to go out and buy the YSL one. This one I've just had for a long time, and it's a really nice nude. Next, I'm just going to be applying my lipstick, and this is YSL number 24. I believe it's called Blonde in Gen U. This is the lipstick that Lana Del Rey wears, and I love her so much that I actually had to buy this lipstick because she wears it, which is crazy, but I mean, if you love Lana Del Rey, you know. Her makeup is always on point, and I really want to do a tutorial on her look sometime soon, so if you want me to do that, please comment below, but this lipstick is just a beautiful peachy pink nude. It is not super nude, which I really like because I cannot wear super white nudes they just don't show up good on me and it looks like i have concealer lips so i really liked this has a lot of pinkish undertones in it it's just a really gorgeous lipstick and the packaging is beautiful all right guys that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next one all right guys that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please thumbs this up and like it if you want to see more videos please subscribe and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next tutorial